Minkai says, down where I live, I keep going over to the Yasuni. He's, he's trying to use the, um, the name on the map so that you would know. I don't think most of you know where the Yasuni is. But uh, he said, I go over there because those people don't know about God's trail. And so I go to show them the markings so that they too can walk God's trail. And what he's not telling you is he keeps telling me, Will you please ask these people to start telling their own people how to walk God's trail so I can go home and teach my people? He says, when I go over there, you know what I found? I found people living angry and afraid just like I used to be. And so you know what I've been doing? I've been teaching them God's markings so that they can see his trail just like I was taught. That's what the book says we're supposed to do. We to talk a guys for Christ. And he's a good one. He says, people, how are you God followers? How many of you are coming after ones? You know what grandfather says? God does not see it well that you should be walking his trail alone. Don't you think that he loves all of his children? Who's going to go and tell the rest of them that when they get to the end of their trail, their name isn't marked there? Who's going to tell them unless you tell them? Who's going to tell them unless we tell them? He says, people, God does not see it well that we should be walking his trail alone. We need to be saying to the people, oh, please, please, come. Come and follow this very good trail with me. Because at the end, we will find our names written there. In, in the very own blood, the strong blood of God's only son. That's how it's written there. Do you understand? What the did it mean? He says, are you understanding my talk? Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> he said, there's some really nice houses here. We're in a really nice house today. There was food everywhere. Chocolate cake is a really special one, and ice cream, that's, that's a big one. We, we're, we're really kind of partial to the ice cream. But he said, but the Father Creator's house is even nicer than anything that you've ever seen here, and there's enough room for everybody. Won't it be sad if the house isn't full when we get there? <laughs> We have to tell the people that God lives in his place and he wants us to come and live with him forever. We have to go tell them. We have to go tell them. He says, 
Maninke, that's what I have to say to you. Okay, okay Minkai. <laughs> Okay. Speaking after Minkai is hard. <laughs> Isn't it incredible that God has given somebody who do you know there's more of you here than there are in his whole tribe? Yesterday we spoke to 26,000 young people out in San Francisco in the giant stadium. And he told them the same thing. And he said, you young people, will you go if God tells you to go? And will you stay and help the other ones go if he tells you to do that? And the young people just poured down to the front of that stadium. Because if Minkai believes it... For some reason, they believe it. Isn't that incredible that God would use Grandfather Minkai, the man who killed my father, in a later chapter? You know what, folks? We just got to wait for the later chapters. After that devastating chapter in my life, two years later, my aunt went in to live with the same people, and I thought she was going to be speared too. She was like a second mother to me. And it was just... Pulling at my little heartstrings, I thought, why? Why? Wasn't it enough that they killed my dad? Aunt Rachel, why are you going? And my aunt said, because Stevie boy, they still don't know how to follow God's trail. Now it's my turn to go. But you know what? They didn't kill her. And when, when I was eight, Aunt Rachel invited me to go in and live with them with her. And at that point, people who interview me asked me all the time, were you afraid? Were you angry? How did you forgive them? They obviously have never been in a position like I was in. I loved my dad, and I knew that my dad loved me, and I knew that my dad would never do anything that could separate him from me either unless it was absolutely necessary or supremely important. My dad and his friends had guns, and they could have defended themselves, and they didn't. And then my mom went on praying for these people who had brutally killed my dad and Ed and Roger and Pete and Jim. And then my aunt went and risked her life to go in. When I met these people, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, these have got to be the most special people in the whole world. Otherwise, why would my, my family have given so much for them? Because we loved them. I never forgave them for what they did. Because it never occurred to me that I should. Honestly, it never did. You know why? Because I grew up with a heritage of forgiveness. That's the kind of heritage that we need to pass on to our children. In the movie, when they wanted to show some, a troubled little boy, I said, guys, it wasn't like that. And they said, we read in your mother's journals that you threw a rock through the bus window. <laughs> I'm not... I did. I don't remember exactly why, but <laughs> they said, Steve, if we show how this story really played out in that respect, in the forgiveness respect, the people who are not God followers, they won't believe it and they won't understand. And you know, then I realized most people haven't got the heritage that my parents and grandparents and my aunt gave me. Wouldn't it be great if we would pass that on to our children? so that they wouldn't have to deal with, with anger and forgiveness, that they would just understand if God loved us enough to give His only Son for us, what is there that could, God could ask of us that would be too much to give back to Him? When I was 13, my sister wanted to come out to visit the Waurani. I was already living out there with my Aunt Rachel. And my sister had gotten to the point where she thought that it was time for her to demonstrate that she wanted to be a God follower, which we do according to the God's markings by going apanigi into the water, signifying that we want to die to self. You know what grandfather says? When we go apanigi, it means we no longer want to walk our trail. Now we want to turn and we want to walk the good trail that God marked with Jesus' very strong blood. 
And I thought, you know, it's time for me too. So my sister and Onkai and Iniwa and I were baptized. But my mom came out with us and she wanted to see the place where my dad had been killed. So Minkai said, let's go over to the other river because we were living on the Tiwano River and my dad 